Hello my lovely people. I wish you all happy holidays for those who like them. This is a Christmas special, although it isn't really related to Christmas, because I hate it. But I hope you all will enjoy it. I hope you will like the story. It's Osasuna and Omega O. I hope it is good. Please stay till the end I have a very important announcement. In a dishonest world, there are always those who are forced to do things they do not want to do. Especially in a world where Omegas can be influenced with pheromones. Which is why Suna had an aversion to Alphas. Not that he didn't have friends he liked and appreciated. But the Omega preferred to stay among his own kind. He only dated other Omegas or Betas. He never wanted to be forced to love someone. For him, love had to come from the heart and not through pheromones. Suna made sure he always had his suppressants with him and never went out partying when he was near his heat cycle. Suna's best friend was also an Omega, and he had been close friends with him since middle school. Atsumomiya had the same attitude towards alphas and pheromones as he did. Fortunately, the blonde setter met an alpha early on who had an aversion to pheromones, and therefore wore perfume so he wouldn't smell pheromones the way his couldn't be smelled. Suna was very happy that Itsuma had found someone who loved him for himself and not for his pheromones. He was also happy that Kiyomi asked the setter if Itsuma wanted to marry him. But that put Suna in a position he never wanted to be in. He felt himself getting into preheat in the middle of his best friend's engagement party. He knew it was too dangerous for him to go home, but staying at the party was also too dangerous. There were only a few alphas present, but a single alpha could be dangerous for an omega in here. He wanted to lock himself in Itsuma's room, but when it occurred to him that Kiyomi's pheromones were in his room, he decided otherwise and locked himself in the guest room. As soon as he closed the door he fell to his knees and he started to breathe heavily. Ack. Why now? S. Suna. G. Get. Out. S. Samu. Osamu took a deep breath to keep control. Suna. You're in preheat? You need to go home. No. Alpha. Help. Suna. Don't. I need to keep control. Your pheromones are so strong. Osamu immediately tried to leave the room, but he was grabbed by Suna and pulled to the floor. The shorter one. Nestled very close to the Alpha. Osamu had no chance to fight against the pheromone. Samu, it hurts help me please. I need you, Alpha. My Omega? I was waiting so long for you. Alpha help? I need it. Osamu kissed the Omega. He devoured every inch of his body. As soon as Itsumo noticed the absence of Suna and his brother, he felt the pheromones coming from the room where Osamu was staying. When he smelled the strong pheromones, he knew immediately that he had to send all the alphas and omegas away. He was not able to be influenced by the pheromones, because the alpha was his brother and Suna was an omega. When he finally got the door open it was already too late. Osamu was on top of Suna. Atsumu took out some suppressants and forced Osamu to swallow them. He tried to drag him out but. He had no chance, since Osamu was an alpha. Fortunately, at that moment Kida came storming through the door. Together with the beta he managed to drag his brother out of the room and lock him in his room. He picked up his emergency suppressants and ran back to Suna, who tried with all his might to get back to Osamu. But Aaron, who came after his partner, was able to hold him back. Atsumu gave him his medication and waited with Aaron for it to take effect. When Suna finally calmed down, he fell into a deep sleep. Atsumu made sure Suna got home safely and stayed with him. Kiyomi stayed at home with Osamu and took care of the Alpha. Ak, my head. Atsumo immediately ran to him and laid a gentle hand on his cheek. Suna you're awake? How are you feeling? M, 
My head hurts and the rest of my body? What happened? Tears ran down at Sima's cheek. He didn't want to tell Suna, because he knew it would break him, but he had no other choice. S. It's. My. Sumu? What happened? Samu, he, he marked you? You could see how shocked Suna immediately was. Atsumu immediately saw the tears in the eyes. He could not believe that his greatest fear became reality, and even worse it was the brother of his best friend. No, tell me it's not true. Rin, he, he is. He is at home so you are safe. I'm so sorry, I can't believe he did that to you. Suna looked at Sumu in the eyes and could see the unfathomable disappointment in the golden eyes. As he looked at him, his memories of the evening came flying back. He remembered pushing Osamu to the floor, kissing him and begging him to do it with him. He could also remember how much he enjoyed it, but he could also feel how the pheromones affected him. He knew that Osamu was not to blame. He at least tried his best to stand again, but he had no chance against the pheromones of an Omega in heat. Sumu, it's not his fault. He tried to go, but I held him back. My pheromones took over. How is he? He. He didn't wake up yet. Itsumu. Held Suna in his arms for a long time. Both knew that no words in the world would make Suna's situation better, so the two did not speak. They just held each other and gave each other the comfort they needed. Atsumu had not imagined his engagement party to be like this. He could never have imagined that such a beautiful day would end with such bad memories. After a while, the two fell asleep. They did not wake up until the next day. Suna sent Atsumu home to take care of his brother, which the blonde did of course. A few days passed before Atsumu called or rather stood breathless in front of his door. Sumu what happened? Why are you crying? Atsumu's tears were running down his cheeks and he was out of breath because he had run all the way. It. It's Samu? He is dying. What? What? Happened? He marked you but you didn't respond? He has not woken up since I gave him the suppressants. The doctors said that you have to finish the connection you started a few days ago or he will die. Suna you have to save him? I know I ask a lot but he is my brother I can't lose him? I, I can't? You know I don't want an alpha? Suna you don't understand. If you leave him like that he will die. Rin he is my brother. It would kill me if I lose him. Fine, just give me a day. I have to prepare myself. Thank you Rin, and even when you bond with him that doesn't mean you have to be his Omega, he will understand it. I want to be alone. Send me the room number and the hospital address and I will do it tomorrow. I will. I love you Rin. Call whenever. Suna just nodded and closed the door behind. His best friend. He sat down on his bed. His tears slowly but steadily rolled down his cheeks. Suna hated it that he was forced to mate with someone but he knew it could be worse. He and Osamu were friends and he knew Osamu wouldn't force him to do anything. It would have been worse if a stranger marked him. Nevertheless he wanted that Osamu could mate with someone who loves him, or that he loved. Suna woke up early in the morning, because he knew that Itsumo would still be asleep and Osamu would probably be alone in the hospital. He got ready to head out. As he entered the room where Osamu was sleeping, his heart began to beat like crazy. Fuck it. I'm sorry Samu that's all my fault. If I just were a beta you wouldn't be forced to stay by my side. Suna got slowly closer to the bed. He took a deep breath before slowly letting out his pheromones. Osamu's eyes twitched immediately. Suna put his hand on Osamu's forehead. The twin slowly opened his eyes. Osamu reacted immediately to Suna's pheromones and he released his as well. I'm going to mark you, don't move. Osamu obeyed his omega and showed him his neck. Suna bit the neck and let his pheromones mix with those of Osamu. 
They could immediately feel the connection that built between them. I'm so sorry Rin that you have to do this because of me. I never wanted you to be forced to do what you hate the most. It wasn't your fault. You just followed your instincts. At least it's with you and not some jerk. You have to know that I won't force you to be by my side. I just want you to be happy. I know you won't force me, but... Nature will. When Omega bonds with an Alpha they can't be apart for too long. I will feel sick if I don't get to feel your pheromones. Osamu nodded slowly. He seemed to be thinking about something. Suna watched him closely. He was silent and waited until Osamu spoke up. You can just come by whenever you need some pheromones. But otherwise you can live your own life. I think that will work. But. What about you? We probably will have the same cycle. But if not I will call you and we will meet up. The two discussed in more detail how they would handle the situation and when they were finished he went home. In the next few days, Suna had to visit Osamu often in the hospital. Osamu was still unstable with his pheromones, so Suna had to be with Osamu so that Osamu's pheromones could recover. Because Osamu had unbalanced his when he marked Suna. He needed his Omega's pheromones to rebalance his. Time skipped two months later. Suna felt incredible sick for the past few days. Especially in the morning. He had to vomit too. He was hungry but he couldn't keep anything down. He knew he should go to Osamu but was hesitant because he didn't want to be dependent on an Alpha. But he realized that he had no other choice. So he set off to Atsuma's house to visit Osamu. When he rang the bell and Kiyomi's door opened, he quickly turned to the side and threw up. The pheromones of Kiyomi overwhelmed him and he felt even sicker than before. Atsuma noticed what was happening and quickly took care of his best friend. Kiyomi grabbed his things and opened some windows to let the pheromone out of the house. After that he left the house himself. After Suna felt a little better, Atsumu also got ready to leave, knowing that Suna and Osamu needed time alone, so they gave them some space. Suna hesitated for a moment in front of Osamu's room door. Just as he was about to knock, the door swung open. Rin, what are you doing? Come in I could smell you since earlier. Suna immediately felt better when he smelled the pheromones of his alpha. He pulled Osamu into his arms. Rin, what's wrong? I felt so sick for the past few days. Now that I'm with you I feel better. Rin something is wrong with your pheromones. They are different. Osamu tried to push Suna away, but the smaller one refused to let go. He picked him up and took him to his bed where he lay down together with the Omega. Rin can you tell me what your symptoms are? I feel like throwing up every morning and when I smell food, ah uh, and also when I smell the pheromones of other alphas. My stomach feels strange too. Does omega pheromones calm you down? I don't know. The only omega I saw in the past few days was Tsuma, but his pheromones were always calming. Do you sleep a lot? Yes, but I always sleep a lot. But do you sleep more than usual? Yeah I think. But isn't that normal when I'm sick? It's probably just because we were apart for too long. If it was because we were apart you shouldn't feel that sick. Osamu took out his phone and looked for what the symptoms could mean. After ruling out the most unlikely ones, he lowered his head and looked very guilty. Samu what is it? How bad is it? Really bad? You will hate me for sure? Rin I think you might be pregnant. Suna's face fell. Deep inside he already knew that the possibility existed but he did not want to believe it. Suna had tears running down his cheeks. Osamu did not know what to do. Should he comfort his Omega and take him in his arms? Or should he rather call it Samo so that he could take care of Suna? Or should he take Suna to a hospital? Osamu wondered what Suna wanted more. 
But his question was answered when Suna lay on Osamu's shoulder and clung to him. Suna, should I bring you to a hospital? No, called Sumu he should bring a test kid and make a appointment with a specialist. And can you make me something to eat? I'm starving. Of course, what are you hungry for? Can you make me a Nijiri? Of course, do you want to go to your home? So you don't have to smell Kiyomi's pheromones? Yes, that is a good idea. Osamu packed some of his things, as well as things he needed for cooking. When he had everything, the two of them headed to Suna's home, which was not far from Atsuma's home. Suna felt much better when he could smell the pheromones of his partner, so he always kept close to Osamu. After an hour Atsumo arrived and disappeared with Suna. In the bathroom, they took the test and waited nervously for the test to show the result. After two minutes, the test showed two dashes, which meant it was positive. Suna lowered his head and let his tears fall. Not only because he was pregnant, but also because the child would force Osamu to stay with him. He never wanted to force Osamu to love him just because he was an Omega. But because of the mark and the pregnancy, it is impossible for Osamu not to love him, his alpha instincts told him that he had to love Suna. What have I done? I never wanted him to be with me just because I'm an Omega. He deserves to be happy? Rin that is not your fault? Those things happen? You know how Komori and Akage got together, and now they really love each other and couldn't be happier. Yes but that isn't what I want. I want to be free and not bound to love someone. I know how you feel. You will figure things out with time. Atsuma guided Osamu and Suna through the whole pregnancy. He also tried to show Suna that Osamu was not someone who would stay with someone just because of a child. But Suna could not believe that Osamu's feelings for him were real. He also believed that his feelings for Osamu were only because of the bond. Osamu's point of view, the fact that he was bound to a human for life was not something Osamu was particularly excited about, but he didn't hate the idea either. But when he bonded with Suna, it was one of the best moments of his life, but also one of the worst. He hated himself for forcing Suna to love him. He had loved Suna for a long time, but he never wanted the Omega to be forced to stay by his side. Which is why he gave his Omega the opportunity to stay away from him if he wanted to. However, he had not reckoned with the fact that Suna became pregnant in the first and only night they spent together. This changed the situation drastically. He tried to help Suna as much as possible. He showed Suna that his feelings were real, but the Omega didn't seem to believe it. In the middle of Suna's pregnancy, Osamu realized that his rut was coming soon. Since he noticed that Suna pushed him further and further away, he decided to find another solution during his rut. Since Suna had no feelings for him, he was sure that the Omega would not mind if he spent his rut far away from him. He called an old friend of his who often spent his rut with him. The two met at a hotel and spent a few nights together. It was less effective than when he spent the nights with Suna but better than nothing. He didn't expect to find Suna angry when he got home, though. Where the hell have you been all this time? Why did you leave me all by myself? Sorry Rin, I just needed some time. I was in my rut period. When Suna smelled the pheromones of another Omega. On his Alpha, he became angry and sad at the same time. The Omega burst into tears. Osamu rushed to him and tried to take him in his arms, but Suna pushed him away. Why the fuck do you smell like an Omega? Am I so meaningless to you that you leave at the first opportunity and look for another Omega? What? No that isn't like that. But you clearly fucked another Omega? Yes I did. But only because I was in my rut and I didn't wanted to force you to do it again with me. 
Rin it is pretty obvious that you don't love me, I was just trying to protect you, it fucking kills me to see you hurt but I already fucked up, now I try to do the best for you but I don't know anymore what that is, I thought if I spent my rut with someone else, it would be what you wanted too, but now you're visibly angry with me, I just want you to be happy, but if you don't tell me what you want or how you feel I can't know what to do. I want you. I don't know if it's just because we are bonded or if these feelings are real. I have missed you so much in the last days. I want this child. And I want our child to have a father too. I hate that you spent your rut with someone else. I want what Kiyomi and Itsumu have. I want someone who loves me not because I am an Omega but who loves me because of who I am. Osamu tried to take Suna in his arms again but he was pushed away again, but this time he didn't let go until he held Suna in his arms. Rin, I love you not because you are an Omega, but because you are stubborn, faithful, loving, and because you also believe what you believe and don't let anyone tell you what to do. Rin I love you for so long. You are not only an Omega for me, you are my Omega and for me you were already before this night. Really? Then you do not love me because I force you through the bond. Osamu looked deep into Omega's eyes and gently wiped the tears from his cheeks. No, Rin I love you since I first met you, and not because of your pheromones? Well I didn't hate them back then but I fell in love with you first before I fell in love with your pheromones. Then spend your rut never again with someone else, you may only spend it with me. Osamu pulled Suna into a soft kiss. The Omega returned the kiss and closed his eyes. He wrapped his arms around his Alpha. Osamu stumbled back a bit as he was roughly pushed back by Suna. Go take a shower you stink of Omega. And then come eat I cooked for you, of course, Osamu made his way to his bathroom, but after a few steps he turned back, Rin, the one in question, who was on his way to the kitchen, also turned around, he looked at Osamu with a smile, yes, does that mean we are now together, maybe after you don't smell like another Omega, but after that you're mine right, yes Samu, I will be all yours, after that, the two of them often talked about their feelings and thoughts. They built up a strong connection. After a few more months, Suna gave birth to their little daughter. They decided to get married. Both were very happy about their little family. Half a year after the birth, Itsuma had good news for them. After several failed attempts to get pregnant, Kiyomi and Itsumu finally did. Time skip to Christmas. Kiyomi and Itsumo spent Christmas together with Osamu, Suna, and their daughter. Itsumo was heavily pregnant, so Osamu and Kiyomi cooked. Suna and Itsumo sat together by the tree and talked together. What is it like to be a father, Rin? It is very beautiful, but also very tiring. The little one only sleeps well when she lies with us which means we have practically no time for us alone. But I would do it again and again. My little angel is the best thing that ever happened to me, I am scared to death of it. I mean of course I'm looking forward to becoming a father but it scares me to death. Kiyomi sat down with Itsumu, and the Omega instinctively snuggled up to the Alpha. The spiker kissed Itsumu's head and put a hand on the baby bump. Osamu took a gift from under the tree and gave it to Itsumu. Happy Christmas Tsumu, I know you will be a great father. The four exchanged their gifts. Many were gifts that they will use for the babies, but there were also other things like one of the best knife sets on the market. But the best gift was for Osamu. Samu can you hand me the little box? The red one? Here, baby. Suna took it and pulled Osamu next to him. Open it, it's for you, Osamu. Carefully unwrapped it. When he saw what was inside, his eyes widened and tears ran down his face. Baby are you serious? 
Yes, I was in the hospital to make sure. Osamu hugged his Omega. He put one hand on Suna's belly. We are going to have another one? Sumu I'm going to become a dad again. The four of them celebrated the two pregnancies more than they celebrated Christmas itself. But for them, family was more important. Either way, Osamu and Suna were there when Atsuma gave birth to his twins. Atsuma was very happy that his children could experience the same as he had with Osamu. Even if the two often quarreled, they knew that they would always be there for each other. Atsuma and Kiyomi were also present when Suna gave birth to his second daughter. I hated the thought that I forced you to love me, but that night was the best in my life. I love you so much Rin. I love you too Samu. And I was never forced to love you. I was just confused back then. So we reached the end. I hope you enjoyed it. Have good holidays and enjoy your time with your family and friends. There will be only one more video this year. I don't know exactly when I will start uploading videos again in January. I have a very big project planned and I'm already working on it, but I don't know yet how much I will be able to do over my vacations, because I still don't know how long I won't be working. I have a very special announcement, I have with some other Textuber a big collaboration ongoing. We all took a word and created a list with the seven words, from which we had to be inspired and write a story. We don't know among ourselves what kind of story was created to my dear friends who got involved in this collaboration thank you all it was fun to collect ideas together and to do something together i hope we will work together again in the future i am always ready to work with someone i wish all my viewers out there a happy new year leave with a subscription there it will be worth it because i have a great idea for a 1k special i have a instagram account where i will make updates and where i will upload smut scenes omis underscore it's so 99 join my discord server i'm occasionally in the voice channel if i am in the voice channel i will announce it on insta link is in the description i apologize for the grammatical errors write me a comment how you liked the story don't forget to follow. If someone wants a video, please let me know it. I will try to write your ideas as best as possible.